how to make the animation GUI, which my last video, second last video, I mean, showing off the sans morph I made, uh, which is in the right, the right screen right here, where this buttons, um, where when you press the button, like your avatar or morph uh, will change or do an action. So. This won't really go in too deep, so it won't actually play animation, but just change the look of that. Um, if you guys want like a deeper version of this video, like how to make it actually play uh, animation, comment down, down below. I may do that one day, probably not. So first, I have this. Let me just delete this. First, go into the description. I left a model of a morph thing with the GUI inside the head. So let's get this. Um, it's free. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I pull it up. It's free, so you can. I mean, copy copyable, so you guys can get this. Um, once you get this, you can make your morph or put your morph in there. If you don't know how to make a morph, then why are you watching this video? You should be watching how to make a morph video, which I did make, which is also my most popular video. So if you want to, you can check that out. So now go into the head part, which is inside the morph. Hey, you can rename this whoever you want. I'll name it Tor as tutorial. Go into the head, and there'll be something called animations. Copy that, delete it from here. Scroll down, put it into Starla um, GI. If if um, if this shows up, it means you did it correctly. Now you have to go to the options, go to properties. And turn visibility on. Now there'll be um there'll be a button here. This is just a basic button. You can change how it looks. If you don't want to be here, you can delete or close these tabs, which makes it so you can see it way better. But I don't I uh, you don't need to do that. If you want to, you can. So there's only one part. You might be like, I want more. Uh, you can duplicate this. Move down. I recommend changing the name because if not, you're gonna get confused. And now your two buttons. Make sure to rename this to what you want. For example, I'll name this head. I'll name the other head two. There you go. You can also change the. You can also change more stuff, which you probably know about, like the text size, the trans text transparency. The font, ex the color, etc. You're gonna change this UI color. I usually just do a black because for I like I like this color scheme the most. So now go to click the option frame and disable the visibility. Now copy this, delete from, but well, you have to delete from start UI because this um script um basically it checks if you have us uh have this gui in your start ui so um if you have it put in your start oh maybe in a start ui so this game so oh you very got it and it won't put it there which you want it to be put there so the, just delete this animation thing from start ui and then place it back here if it doesn't work it means you maybe mess up the script or the fact that there's a non one in Star GI. Just remove it from Star GI. You can pull it into replicate storage like I did with the prototype version, uh, which is just for the basic version I use for morphs. So now now you have to um, add your morph to to want to do whatever you want. So for example, this is just a basic morph. I'll name this head. It's just base head. Maybe I want it so the head like it looks down. It looks downwards, something like that. Like that now you have to rename this to something else so name it head two. make sure every single part that you want to like be on the gui different name because if not uh, it's gonna not work so make transparency one so it's invisible if the part is too big or like this big like bigger than the morph itself make sure there's no can eye on because if there's can eye your morph will be very glitch but yeah, so if you have like a huge ring behind your back and you want it to like turn on when you press the button, make sure the can line for that wing is off. Now, go to your script and find the button you want um want to be pressed for that to be enabled or disabled. Go into the script inside the target options. Now, don't change anything too much. Just name this into head. 
Do not edit this. Do not edit anything. Only edit this, the parts I edit. Delete that because it will make it much more faster. Now, you have the player. Um, just think about the player as the model, the tour. Now, you have to identify where the part is inside, the parent of the part, which for, for us will be the head. So, name a head part, like this shows right here. I usually indent this, but I will auto indent, so you don't really indent that. Now, you have to select the part you want to change, which will be the head. So, you want this part to become transparent, and this part to not be transparent. So tr choose, uh, type this, so it will go to the player, get the head, and get this part. Now go to the properties and find transparency. You want to type in transparency, and make sure it's set to 1. Now if a player clicks on the button, your transparency for this head part will become 1. Now this is the reason why you want all the parts you name differently because if you name it the same thing it will it will not make any of these transparent or choose a random one so now you want to make the second one and make it not transparent so now if you click this button this will become transparent and this will be non-transparent and then copy this put it in the second one and change it up so it should look like something like this so if you click the button once um your head will become transparent and your second head looking down will be not transparent and then if you click it again your normal head will become not transparent and then the uh, second head will become not um, transparent so let's just test this um if it doesn't work then you probably uh want the script one because i'm gonna show you guys that it works so don't comment down saying it is is broken or something Okay. You can so basically, um, if you know basic scripting, then this should be easy for you because um, it usually just go choose the the parts that you want to change and change the properties of it. So you can make stuff visible, invisible, can can I on, can can I off, or play music for such, which is the thing. I'm liking it a lot because Roblox Studio is very laggy for me. Okay. Now just scan the more. It should work. And it works. Uh, this place is Magavania because I didn't change the script for it. Uh, just like Magavania in the chat. So I'll probably change that. So just the normal thing. So yeah. This won't actually play Magavania for you. Um. It's just because I didn't add the script, I will remove the music from this box. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It's just a head change in this web. It's not that good. So I'm going to show you something I made with this UI, uh, which is I've considered pretty good, which I then make a video on about my sense. This is a sense wall. You guys probably didn't watch that video. You probably didn't watch that video because um, the person requested was watching that video. But if you didn't, I'm just going to show you it. Because for some reason, people watch my two second long videos instead of my edited one. So it seems normal. But as you see, that you, know, you can make it way much better. You can, there's an image of it, but my um, command bar thing is all blocking it. You can add taxes for the music. It's back in here. You can have more stuff like you can have you can make the super events if you want like what I did. Like you can make the super good. Like make something so events out of something so easy to work with. This you may think, oh that that must be hard to make, but this at most it took me like ten minutes. And that is a short amount of time. Actually, maybe 15, because it took me, like, a while to, like, keep going into different scripts. Actually, yeah, the scripting part and the editing part took me, like, 15 minutes, which is, like, no time while you're making a game or making a morph, you know? The modeling, <laughs> that took me, like, hours because I'm, I'm bad at modeling. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, sub, comment down below what other videos you want. I will be editing this video. It'll probably take me 10 years, so peace.